it feel like someone threw me in the furnace praying at the same time i was like god is this my time to go for the first time in my life i felt really ugly the birth is gonna be something else me made two more weeks mate my feet were so swollen sometimes i'm like oh is sesame still alive i miss being able to walk people are disrespectful mate all the things that you're like oh i hope i don't get that i got it hey guys it's naka mate i'm in the third trimester well in five hours technically but by the time i put this video up i'll be in the third trimester i'll be 20 weeks i'm so happy time has been going by so slow yes it's moving so i'm happy I, it's like the third trimester hopefully by the time i stop blinking i'll be giving birth so i decided to do a q a and i asked you guys on my instagram to ask me questions and i'll be answering them so the first question is how do you feel about seeing your body change so quickly I was shocked. First of all, I had hyperpigmentation. Like for those who don't know, basically my hands are a different color than my chest. My face is a different color than my stomach. I have patches of like different colors throughout my body. So that was definitely a shocker. I didn't know what was going on. Like I would see patches of like um, really dark colors on my skin and I'd be like, OMG, like am I, what's, what is this honey? And then the stretch marks when they started coming in like right here, I was, in shock i was like what is going on because it happened so fast i feel like i blinked and all these changes came right i went from being really small to like really big right it was definitely a shock and i was also sick i gained so much weight so it was definitely a shock for me and like being online getting bullied you guys know like you guys read the comments on like my pictures and like my reels and my tiktoks people are disrespectful mates so take that in all and then with all the changes in my body and stuff not being able to walk because I was so heavy at the beginning my feet swelling mates I could go on and on and on you guys have been here with me you know what I've been through so it was definitely shocking for the first time in my life I felt really ugly I'm gonna be honest I felt disgusting um I didn't like my stomach I just I did not like what I saw in the mirror and I think I've said it before I couldn't look at myself in the mirror because I was very disgusted with myself because everything people said and then like I just didn't look like myself and I didn't feel like myself too so that didn't help it was very very hard on me mentally but luckily mates i keep talking about the community but the women in the private community that we have were amazing like they were like naka you're not the only one that goes through this this happened to me this this not so that's why i'm like a big advocate on like if you're pregnant and you're going through a hard time speak to someone it doesn't matter if you're pregnant join the community like if you're going through things we just opened up a few spots so it's going to be in the description bar down below and in the comment section i'll pin it but yeah talking to the community talking to my husband talking to my brothers like my dad it really really helped me next question what are you the most excited about after you give birth Whew, everything just to have my body back and to feel like myself i feel like i haven't felt like myself you know i used to always hear pregnant women talking about that oh i don't feel like myself i feel like my body's not my and i'd be like girl ha mates i relate to it so much now like <laughs> Cause like the thing is like the things that I want to do I can't I feel so heavy all the time I can't wait to start running again you guys I'm so excited to be running I feel like after Sesame's out I'm going on a 10k run mates like I'm gonna celebrate I'm just excited to get this baby out of my stomach so that I can just be myself I can sleep on my stomach I can go get a margarita mates I can just live my best life I think and just go back to doing little hobbies like oh trust and believe i'm gonna have some me time like no 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 mates so i'm excited to just have some me time and just be myself a lot of people are like oh you don't have time for you when the baby comes no girl i'm gonna make time for me when sesame's sleeping trust and believe dominic's gonna be painting my nails giving me massages i'm gonna be sipping on the tv drinking my water mates like it's gonna be on and popping so i'm just excited to go back to being myself and having my body back and just going to the gym and just doing things that i love next question what has been the hardest thing during this pregnancy everything guys everything from the beginning i'm praying that my birth <laughs> i don't even want to say it because knowing my luck <laughs> knowing my luck you guys the birth is gonna be something else mates but just everything has been very challenging for me i've been sick i've gained so much weight i've had stretch marks i have like anything like 
all the things that you're like, oh, I hope I don't get that. I have, I got it, you know? And it's great to see because I'm still standing and I still have, for the most part, a positive mindset. Yes, there are days that I'm super down and sometimes I watch other pregnant girls, they're like, oh, I only gained 20 pounds. Oh, the pregnancy has been so good. I'm like, wow, must be nice. But you know, I'm grateful that I had this experience because it led to, you know, me and my husband having a private community. It led to me meeting amazing people. Like my struggle led to so many amazing things that I would not take back, you know? Like I'm grateful because a lot of you guys, we talked um, on my Instagram and like you DM'd me, like you share your stories with me. So it's like, yes, I suffer, but I also have met amazing people and I've heard amazing stories about pregnancy. So it's, there's beauty. Um, I was listening to a song and the girl said, struggling is beautiful. So mate, there's beauty in the struggle, I guess. What's something you miss when you weren't pregnant? Everything, girl. I miss being able to walk. I miss feeling like a feather when I get out of bed, you guys. Like, ooh. <laughs> Getting out of bed, you guys. It's something else. And the fact that Sesame, like, he's big. I, oh my God, no. I miss sleeping and not having someone kickboxing me, guys. That's what I miss. I miss being able to eat fruits without throwing up. I miss being able to run. For those who follow me for a really long time, you know that I love running. I've ran my whole life. I used to run track when I was in school. Like running has always been a part of me. So I think I, I struggled a lot with this pregnancy because I couldn't run. For me, like running is like, I release stress. You know how some people, they say they go to the gym because like, you know, to release some stress. For me, it's running. Like when I run, I feel like I'm free, mate. I feel like a bird, but now I'm in a cage. I can't run. So that's what I really miss like running and just having like an adrenaline because now it's like Everything's so heavy, you know, but I don't want to complain because at least I'm pregnant, you know At least I'm able to have children. So that's what I always say like I'm always like yes I complain and I'm this and that but I always tell myself girl at least you can have children, you know That's what I would say. How did you bring down the swelling? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I kept my feet elevated That's literally what it was. I remember because um, I was reading the comments and someone was like, oh get a pillow Lift your feet up. So I was like, okay So I got a pillow and then I put another pillow on top and I elevated my feet the swelling just went down and I think maybe it's just like a phase you go through because sometimes I get these pregnancy things but it lasts for like a week and I think the swelling it was just it just wanted to say hi to me like hey girl let's see if we can handle this all right you can handle it so sesame was like all right let me unbutton that um that swelling button sometimes I feel like sesame is in the stomach is like hmm how can I test my mom today Boop. Let's make her throw up. You know, like sometimes I think he's like that. He's plotting on me. But don't worry, I'm gonna get my revenge when he's out. Sesame, we gon' no, I shouldn't say that, because then I still have to give birth to him and he might get revenge on that. Alright, you know what? We're not gonna speak like that. Cause sesame, this one. So yeah, I elevated my feet and I do cardio. I go to the gym every single day. Well, I try to go at least like five times a week. Sometimes I get, if I don't want to go to the gym, then Dominic is like, okay, let's go out in the marina and like walk around so I always always tried to walk and I preach to other women like walking really saved me my feet were so swollen after I, I was on bed rest because I guess I wasn't moving right I can't stress enough the importance of if you're pregnant and you have swollen feet go out and walk my gynecologist told me keep walking like walk 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 mate I'm a walker I used to be a runner a track star now I'm a walker I'm a walker I'm a walker girl so yeah that's what I did what does the nausea feel like girl what why do you want to know what the nausea feels like it feels like the end of the world is what it feels like it feels like someone threw me in the furnace is what it feels like and this is like a different type of nausea whenever um i would get sick people always they think it's like a cute throwing up no it's a type of throw up that like you grunt because it's like ah it's like so painful you guys i'm not even joking that and like i sweat a lot too because it takes all of me like you you're like it's so painful i don't know how to describe it but it's not a, a regular throw up you know how like sometimes you have your period and like you throw well sometimes well when i would get my period i would throw up right and it's just like a light nausea no this is something else this is like it's like i'm screaming and i remember like i would throw up and i'd be praying at the same time i was like god is this my time to go just spare me this nausea like this is too much it just feels like your heart is about to come out of your body is what it feels like you guys this not a game like whoo mate and i still get nausea now i don't know 
am I pronoun mates? I have sinus issues with this pregnancy, so some words not I, I pronounce it, but my nose is blocked, mates. Please forgive me. But now, whenever um Sesame's hungry, if I don't eat you guys, I will throw up. Like, how does that make sense? Sometimes I feel like talking to Sesame. I'm like, mate, if you're hungry, just be patient. I'm gonna cook. And the thing is, like, if I cook the food, he smells how good it is. He makes me throw up. So it's like, don't keep me waiting. Like Sesame doesn't play around about his food. Someone asks, he's like, do you think that he's gonna have trouble latching? This one, he. Mates, I'm gonna pop that boob in his mouth and he's gonna be eating right away, like this one. But anyways, guys, so um, I try to keep it light, you know? Keep it fun, because I don't want you guys to come on my channel and be like, oh, Naka's always down, Naka's always this, you know? Like, I want this to be like a fun experience. When I look back at my videos, you know, I wanna have like a little laughter, but then be like, I remember when I did that video, I was struggling, mates. As I'm sitting here, my back is hurting, like, ooh, mate. And I still spit, for those that asked, I'm still spitting till this day guys at this point i think i'm gonna be spitting until i give birth but the spitting i don't mind because sometimes i'm like oh is sesame still alive like what's going on but then i'm still spitting so it helps me to not be paranoid because i still have you know like the spitting so i'm like oh he's doing well so i do in a way kind of hope that i spit all the way at the end because i know that sesame is still strong and he's still going good because i feel like if i wasn't spitting i would be like oh my god what's going on with sesame like what i need to poke him some more you know but i'm spitting and he's like great and all these other symptoms like uh my hyperpigmentation the nausea in the morning now it just lets me know that sesame is doing great he's still you know like out there so i don't mind these symptoms because i know my baby's healthy and he's doing good and as long as sesame's good i'm great so if he likes it i love it it is what it is you know that's my son he's a strong he he's he's a box for me i'm hungry box box you know stop moving box box so he gets that from dominic mates anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this q a mates i made it to the third trimester i told dominic when i'm 30 weeks you're taking me out okay you gonna fly me out no i'm not going on the plane but i was like we're gonna celebrate because i feel like when i hit 30 weeks it's on and popping like it's only like a waiting game after that two more weeks mates i'm so excited so Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo!